Good morning to you all and welcome back to Sonnet Institute of Technology. My name is Bruce Malaudzi and this is the Red Dead Certificate of Expertise in High Availability Clustering. This is module 1 and actually it's module 1.2 and we are proceeding from module 1.1. In this module, uh, we will create a logical volume but first of all you need to create a physical volume. So earlier on, I think in the introduction video, uh, we added at least a 12 gig of a second disk uh, hard disk. So we will be using that 12 gig to create our physical volume. After creating the physical volume, we will create a, a, a volume group. The volume group will be named Big Data. We will then create a logical volume out of the uh, big data and our logical volume will be at least 10 gig in size we will name our logical volume as my data and we need to make sure that our changes are persistent so without wasting time let's get started so here on Genesis 3 uh, we're just proceeding or resuming from where we left uh, before we start configuring uh, the logical volumes which will be done on this uh, host I need to correct something on this server I realized that um, I made a typo somewhere on the alias so the typo I made is here under the etc host uh, there On the alias supposed to be IPA server so I just want to make sure that you don't get confused so I can save and quit so I can quit from here that was that is all uh, so coming back to our task we are supposed to create a logical volume so I need to log in that is IPA server so now once I'm logged in uh, I need to check if my 12 gig disk exists and sure I do have it right here exists under STB as you can see so the next thing I need to do is to start configuring so I need to create a, a physical volume so I can also check the disk before I start configuring I can use the cfdisk command and do the uh, slash device slash stb so that you can at least have an idea as you can see here is my 12 gig and it's residing on the stb so i can quit from here all right so let's create the physical um, volume so the command is pv create so that will be preview create and we need to assign the, the device of stb okay so the physical volume has been created successfully so the next thing is to um is to verify so we can use the command pvs if you want to so i've got a pvs here if I want to, I can do the PV display command. That would be PV display. Uh, let me be specific. So let me clear the screen and be specific. That would be PV PV display dis, display, and I like to display this device here. That would be device STB. Alright, so here is our PV, uh, physical volume and you can see from this point it shows as 11.72 as a matter of fact it's a 12 gig uh, uh, drive so we can proceed so I'll clear the screen so after creating the physical volume we need to create the uh, volume group so the command is vg create 
and the volume group will be named as big data and I'll like the volume group to reside on the physical volume that is STB so as you can see volume group has been created successfully so how do I verify I can use the VGS command there is my big data and I can as well use the VG display command VG display and be specific I will be specific and say big data so I'm saying please display the volume group named big data so this is what I have um, that's the maximum size I have and nothing has been allocated to it yet so let's proceed the next thing I need to create a logical volume that will be using at least 10 gig and that logical volume must be named my data so the command is LV create that will be LV create minus N for name or dash name dash n for name and we we'll like to name it my data size that will be dash caps l i like it to be 10 gig that will be 10 uh, caps g and i like it to reside or to be taken from the big data logical volume so what i'm what i'm saying here saying uh, please create a logical volume and name it my data and i like to assign the size of 10 gig and that logical volume should reside in the big data uh, uh, volume group so I press enter so as you can see it's been created now i need to verify so i can verify using the lvs command as you can see, uh, my data belongs, that's my data logical volume, belongs to the big data uh, volume group, and it has been assigned a size of 10 gig. If I want to, I can use the LV display command. So I'll say LV, please display my data. So it will show specific. sorry made a mistake that will be lv display lv display okay so if you scroll down uh, scroll down again right here okay so lv display so I have this one here, uh, big data, my data, and it shows that I've got a 10 gig assigned, and it also shows the free space as well. So I have free space of 1.95 gig. So basically, this is how you create your logical volume, and pretty easy and creating logical volume volume groups and physical volumes those are the um, RH RHCSA uh, task so by now you should be know how to do this but I just wanted to go through and show you how it's done so we've successfully created a physical volume we created a logical volume big data we also created a log, uh, logical volume. So big data is the volume group and logical um, and my data is the logical volume. Please do not confuse these two. LV, LG. So this is how we do it and it's quite easy and straightforward. So in the next video we will um, proceed and I'll show you how we can create an ice cars and things like that. 
So in this particular video, I've shown you how you can create a logical volume which will be residing in a volume group that also resides in the physical volume. So we used a 12 gig second hard disk and we, we created the volumes. So in the next video, we'll just continue from there. I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.